what's going on everybody? Um, in this video, I'm going to be uh, showcasing my brand new PC that I ordered from Origin PC uh, just almost exactly a month ago today. Um, it finally arrived in a 128 pound crate. <laughs> um, I'm very excited to unbox this PC because this is something that I've wanted to do. I've, I've wanted to build my dream computer and I went to a couple of places and finally decided to go with Origin PC because I have to say firsthand that they do have some pretty extraordinary customer service and they do make some pretty killer PCs. So I wanna start off by saying thank you Origin for uh, building this thing for me. I know it was kind of a long rough road, but we got it here. We are good to go. So thank you guys very much sincerely for me to you for uh, building this computer for me. For those of you guys who are watching or subscribers to my channel, you guys know that I've been very excited for this for a very long time. I'm excited to get this thing unboxed. It is a monster of a computer. It is huge. Um, it's got the latest and greatest stuff in it, and uh, I want to be here to show you guys exactly. We're going to go through it piece by piece, and then after I cut this part, we're going to take the top of it off. We'll take the front of the crate off. And then we'll pull the PC out and get right to the nitty gritty. So let's get to it. All right, for starters, we have to use a drill. Some people use a, an actual screwdriver. I've even seen some videos where, <laughs> what are you doing, big boy? I've seen some uh, people use a crowbar to take apart their crates, and that's crazy. But we're gonna use a screwdriver, which you can see my little bulldog is crazy for my drill. So let's get this top part off here. You don't need that screw. You don't need that screw. I know you want it. I know. Calm down. Alright, so there's the screws for the top of the lid there. And as you open it up, Really not much to see right off the bat there. So now, the next part of it is, is to uh, take the front cover off. All right, so now we get to take the front of this piece off here. Calm down, it's just my drill. I know you want it. It's not yours, it's mine, so back up. the drill anymore so as we take the front of this thing off there's the front of the crate and there's what you get inside <clears throat> a cardboard box so now the next objective is to get the box out of the crate and then we'll be back once we get that out so that way we can take this apart and show you what's inside Now that we've got the wooden crate off the cardboard box, next thing are these four plastic clips. You just simply lift the tab and the whole clip pops right out. And what that is doing is it's holding the two pieces of cardboard together. It allows us to do what we're about to do here. And that's take off the top sleeve of this box. Just like that. All right, so right off the bat, we've got a couple of things here. Normally, there comes a t-shirt right here, but I've already taken the t-shirt out of it. Um, 
not sure where that t-shirt went, but normally your t-shirt goes right here. And right off the bat, you have your connectors box, which in this case has the power cord in it, which no joke, when I kid you not, it's like a dryer cord. The reason why this cord is so thick and so big is because it's powering a 1.6 kilowatt power supply. That is crazy. That is an insane power supply. Crazy. There's the, uh, the uh, orders for it. Then you've got yourself another box right up front here. And inside this box is where we're gonna have all the cool stuff. You're gonna have all of your adapters. You're gonna have your Origin bracelet. You're gonna have your Origin rubber coated flash drive. I don't know if you guys can really see that or not. It's kind of not focusing in there, but it's got a flash drive in there. It's got some Origin stickers. It's also got the remote for running your lights inside your PC tower. A lot of really, really cool stuff in there. We'll get back to that in just a minute. And then here is all of the components that came that comes with it. So we'll go over those momentarily as well. So as you can see, we've got a foam piece that goes right over the top here. Once we take that piece off, we set that aside. That allows us to get to the inside of the actual PC here. And as you guys can see, they also give me an extra bottle of the Cool Lance liquid that's gonna go inside my PC. Obviously it's already in there, but they just give me a refill bottle so that way I can refill it or change it as needed. All right, so next is to get this bad boy out and show you exactly what we need to do from there. All right, so after lifting this thing out, this thing is a monster, it's extremely heavy. Um, <laughs> I would say probably five pounds of crate, five pounds of cardboard, if that, and the rest of it is all computer. This thing shipped at 128 pounds. So you guys can do the math. This thing's about 118 pound PC, like no joke. Once you unbox it, you get this really cool sleek cover that comes over it. And it's just a fitted cover. All you gotta do is just pull this piece off. And it will unveil the PC that we have been waiting for for a very, long, very long time. Check that out. That is really, really cool. Really nice. So here is the actual front of the case here. Um, I'll take you guys around the computer and then we'll open up the inside of it here. Actually, we probably should just open up the inside of it first to kind of show you guys what we're looking at here. So let's move this stuff out of the way and let's show you guys the inside of the computer and then we'll go around it. So right on the top left hand corner here, we've got the little button that you pop open, which allows us to release the door just like that. We'll go ahead and set this piece aside. Also, really quick, I wanted to show you guys <laughs> the little gun that spells out 1337 for Elite. Um, really quickly, guys, I want to tell you guys about this case. This case is a, uh, a specific case that was featured um, on a video that I'll link in the description. And it was for a maximum PC magazine and they specifically built and painted this case for that particular company to do a review on and they actually gave it to me as saying thank you for purchasing an Origin PC. So this case, this color, this setup, you can't get at all. I know that sounds bad but in all, in all honesty it's a one and an only case that was specifically made for that video and I'll put a link in the description so you guys can check that out. So here is the inside of it. It comes with obviously this little foam piece to protect the graphics cards, but this piece just comes right on out like that. 
And then we'll go ahead and show you guys the inside of it now. All right, now that we've got the packaging out of it, we can now show you guys the inside of this monstrosity. There's the inside of the computer there. So we've got dual 360 millimeter radiators on the bottom, three fans on each side for a total of six fans, two radiators on the bottom. Full liquid cold system. It's got the cool lance liquid in there, clear tubing with the cool lance uh, fittings. Got ourselves a EVGA 1600 G2 Gold, the 1.6 kilowatt power supply. Amazing power supply, really, really good. Then it feeds back into two hard drives. We've got a four terabyte hybrid drive followed in by a, I believe it's a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Then you've got your standard uh, DVD player. We got, we got some more components back there we'll go into. It's got 32 gigs of the Corsair Dominator 4 DDR4 Platinum. Really, really good RAM. It's got the brand new 5960X processor hooked into the brand new X99 motherboard. And being trailed in by four of the brand new GeForce GTX 980 graphics cards. Really cool stuff, guys. Really, really cool stuff. This computer is going to uh, smash some serious games. It's gonna do a lot of really cool stuff. You've also got yourself another radiator in the back here. And you've got yourself another radiator on top. So you've got one small radiator, you've got another radiator there, and you've got two more radiators on the bottom. Now if we go to the front of the PC here, here's what the front of it looks like. Got yourself a bunch of USB 3.0, the headphone jacks. You've also got dials and the power button. Followed by a grate here, which you pop this off and all of your cables are going to feed through here. And in return, come back out to here. And there's the back of the PC there in case you're interested in seeing that. Now on the front of it here, this is what the front of the PC will look like. And then you go ahead and open this up, and this is where the cool stuff happens here. You've got a 40-in-1 media card reader, which I have them add because I do a lot of stuff with my media cards like you guys are watching now. It's got a full digital fan speed control mechanism. Obviously a CD-ROM and my green full liquid cooled reservoir. So that way I can see if my liquid is getting cloudy or if I need to refill it, just pop a refill cap, go ahead and fill it up. It's also got one, two, three, four, and five quick swap hard drive bays. You pop that latch, slide them out, got yourself a little hard drive bay if you need it. Push it back in, lock it in place, and you are good to go in case you guys are into those hot swap bays. So there you guys go. There is the exterior of the PC. We've got the brand new 5960X processor attached to the brand new X99 motherboard. I'll get you guys in a little closer there. See if you guys can't see. Got the Republic of Gamers on there. Full Cool Lance liquid system with the Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR4 RAM. Four GTX 980s powered by a 1.6 kilowatt power supply. There you guys go. The next view we'll see is this thing all powered up and ready to go. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you when it's ready to go.
All right, so we've got the complete computer unboxed. We are ready to go. I'm excited to show you the complete setup of everything. I've got a couple more additions that I've done to the computer and the setup that you guys haven't seen yet that I've been waiting for once the computer comes. So as you guys can see right over here, I now have a small monitor sitting off to the side right over here, which is going to be powered by my old PC, which is going to be dedicated as a strict uh, computer, or I'm sorry, a strict streaming setup. So I've got some uh, headphones, monitor, the tower, a keyboard, and a mouse that is going to be utilized for a stream computer once I figure out how to get that all set up. And now, the last thing you guys saw was the, the three 40 inch monitors. That's what you guys saw. Now as soon as I pan out, now you guys will see a fourth 40 inch on top that I've installed with two side mount 24s on each side. So that's the new monitor setup there. I'll get you guys a, a closer pan of everything here. So there's the side mount monitors. There's the top. There's the middle monitor and then the sides. And I have these ones turned sideways and I will use those as more like streaming monitors and rendering video software and stuff like that. Obviously everything else is still the same. We've got, there's the stream keyboard and mouse. There's the Xbox headset. There's the keypad, headphone amplifier. My regular stealth keyboard. My new 2014 limited green edition Razer Naga. Obviously my microphone. Got the Wii system, the Wii U pad, the PlayStation 4, and then everything else that comes on over here. Got my printer, and yes, I went overboard. I got three of the uh, Razer extended mats. I had to get those. <coughs> so, yeah, I went a little extreme, but there you guys go. There's a little bit of that there. There's another pan of that. And then now let's get down to where everything is, everybody's been waiting for which is inside here, which is the actual running set of everything. So I have it on the black light version of it right now because it kind of makes everything kind of radioactive looking. And uh, Bear wants to get into the picture here. Watch out, buddy. Come here, buddy. Um, but anyway, here's the, uh, here's the GTX 980 cards. Everything's all running and operational. There's the, uh, the green coolant. It's got a really nice green radioactive liquid to it um, but in case you guys missed the beginning of the video everything that's in here currently right now it's got a uh, EVGA 1.6 kilowatt supernova power supply it's a rated uh, gold 80 plus really really high-end power supply it's got four GTX 980 graphics cards installed it's got one radiator in the back it's got dual radiators across the bottom with six fans, all liquid cold as you guys can see. It's got 32 gigs currently of the Dominator, the Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR4 RAM. I would have gone 64, but they were having issues with getting it synced, so once they do that, I'll get that situated. Um, in a previous video, I accidentally called it the X99 board. It's actually the Extreme Rampage 5. There you guys can see the Republic of Gamers. It's also got a cool ANSI radiator on the top. It's got the all new 5960X processor. Everything in this computer is not even a month old, if it is a month old. It's got a four terabyte hard drive in there, and it's also got a 256 SSD solid state in there as well. Really, really cool stuff. This thing is a monstrosity of a computer. And then on the front here, there's the Origin logo. Once you actually open it up, then you can actually see all the, there's the fan speed controls. There's all your hot swap bays all lit up and ready to go to let you know that they are operational. So there you guys go. There's the external lit up components of the, uh, of the computer there. Um, once it gets to be nighttime, I will uh, turn off all the lights and show you guys the entire setup of everything when it's turned off. But here's the last zoomed in pan of the computer in its final state here. So.
So there you guys go. Like I said, I'm gonna pick up the video one more time when it's nighttime, when it's nighttime everything's all dark. That way you guys can get a full setup shot of how everything looks in the nighttime, which I think it'll actually look pretty cool. One more thing. It comes with this remote here. And this remote basically allows me to change the colors of the case to whatever I want. So if I want it to be red, I can have it red. If I want it to be uh, green to match my setup, or the blue, which I think looks pretty cool, I can even have it go all white. But there you guys go. I can even have it flash. I can have it strobe different colors. I can have it fade. I can do a lot of different things with it if I really, really wanted to. So, <laughs> like I said, neat little toy. It's pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, when we come back, we'll try and catch it when it's nighttime and we'll see how everything looks.